This episode is sponsored by Anchor. If you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. Let me explain. I've used Anchor for years now, right? I love it. Um, distribution's free. Everything is amazing. It it's free, man. Like I li- straight up, I just go, I upload my file, give title, give the uh, give the thumbnail if I want to, give one description, and it's gone. Everywhere, iTunes. Spotify, Pocket Cast, everywhere it gets distributed for free. Like, they love, like, it's the best way to do this. The, like, stuff that helps you make the podcast on your computer, on your phone, right? You don't have to go and do some extra, you don't have to go buy an external uh, recorder, nothing. You have a laptop, you have a phone, you have earphones, that's all you need. Anchor, like, Everywhere that my podcast is now is thanks to Anchor because I haven't gone and distributed it. Anchor does it for me, right? Like and um and like this ad for example, I don't need to have like oh yeah a thousand people only then I'll get paid like YouTube. If I make enough money, if Anchor decides like okay this got some amount of viewership, I will there's no minimum amount and they'll still pay me money. It's literally everything you need to make a podcast all in one place. Download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. Go ahead. This is going to be the best decision to make your podcast. Check it out, guys. Hi, um, hopefully you can hear me properly. I'm actually talking louder than I normally would. This is a, well, first off, it's a secondary mic test. Um, yeah, the last podcast was also done with this mic, so I want to do this one as well. Um, my friends told me the audio is better, so I really appreciate that feedback. But, uh, mainly this is just to, you know, test out me actually putting it on my body instead of having it like clipped on to something else and also um to talk about privacy and like stuff for a minute okay um so if you're listening to this podcast this is the first time i've actually told this out loud um i started the second instagram or my, my fourth instagram account technically because i have my main like macintosh one i have a spam account which only like my friends follow and only my friends will follow because it's a private account. Uh, I have my photography account where I haven't posted for like a year or two. And I have this new one. This one, I haven't told anyone at all. So if you're listening to this podcast, you're probably the first people to know it. It's called The Consistency Project. So um, what it is, it's basically a way to keep me posting at least once a week. So I do uh, once every like seven days on like Fridays or something. I don't even know. So I've done three until now, and you know it's been a fun journey so far. Um, I've really enjoyed it. Uh, it's actually been uh, like once a week. I'm like, okay, let's just. It's probably like a small Instagram post with a small write up, and then you know hashtags, and then I also do the designing for the uh, Instagram post like page as well, like the thumbnail. I guess that's how I describe it. It's basically a thumbnail uh, on like a photo editor like a photoshop type app because i don't pay for photoshop that is a scam i mean really like 700 800 bucks a month i can't afford that 800 bucks a year i can do like you know i get money from somewhere and do it but 800 a month and that's just for the photo stuff not worth it maybe when i'm in college you know um probably get the student plans but hey you know what that doesn't matter right now so basically that's what I've been doing. So I've been doing that for about three weeks now. It's been really an interesting thing because uh, I don't know, I've never been consistent at anything. And now it's just been three weeks, so you know, I might even stop later, who knows. But hopefully I won't uh, I wanna keep on continuing and doing it more further and further. Uh yeah, that's basically that's all I wanted to talk about that. 
but the reason i bring it up is cuz um recently like i don't know this week post i think it was mm, yeah this week's post was how covid gave us better internet right and how it raised internet awareness in general so um if you all remember during like, the beginning of the pandemic oh what shit internet we had everyone was at home everyone was struggling to get online i remember i was playing psych with my friends and it would take like a probably like 30 minutes not 30 minutes like 20 seconds to view like the words and stuff to get the results and all of that and you know um wasn't it really that great sucked but that was what we were doing even house party was shit so uh now it's become way better and um yeah so that's what i want to talk about um this is also my speech for my um board exam practicals for english uh so uh, i mean i'm not going to cut to it i'm just going to say it now but yeah it was like a minute or two minutes long and yeah this is basically what it had covid like all of the shit it is doing to us had one thing during the middle of the pandemic when you know stuff was starting to die down like september ish was we had amazing internet i still have good internet now but i remember i used to have horrible internet it became to a point where um i was like okay i'm getting better internet on my phone i need better internet on my laptop which is why i switched to ethernet ethernet wow it is super helpful because that it just maxes out the speed right uh i don't have wi-fi 5 sorry wi-fi 5 gigahertz router um near my room it's on the other end of the house so if you know anything about wi-fi f- uh, fighting you know that it's probably only good for that room any other room so like think of it this way if you're in a 10 foot by 10 foot room that room is the only room that you're going to have good fighter connection in probably like a floor down you might have decent enough ones depending on how thick your floor is obviously but the moment it goes to the walls the signal becomes super weak and it has to pass through more objects and it becomes even more weak that's why 2.4 gig is the standard that's why you'll see it overcrowded and that's why it's there on like fpv drones so if you've seen videos of that you've you seen the headsets they have right they'll have 2.4 g head z or z on it um that is basically showing the frequency at which the data is being transmitted and that is the one that is available in most wifi routers so if i go to a wifi analyzer app and i see the 2.4 gigahertz like frequencies near me every single house is going to have it and there's probably like five routers in the entire area like my street who have 5 gig and best part it cannot overcrowd your space because it cannot i mean some cases it can but you're going to get a super weak signal outside your place right so if you're still inside um you're going to get weak better internet um and it doesn't crowd up the signal for the rest of the people so that's great and also uh another thing i want to touch on like all the online classes oh ma'am i have bad internet excuses i mean really like probably like one out of 10 had that actual excuse to get out of that but um yeah majority of people these of course didn't net now that's cuz you know what? we might have had better speeds i like we we might have had good speed before like 200 mega megabit yeah megabits per second but uh, i have a 150 megabit connection at home yeah i think so no maybe 200 i'm not sure cuz i know uh, my laptop gets 100 megabits per second Uh, on a non gigabit ethernet connection so if i probably switch to gigabit i could probably get 200 so that will mean like 20 megabytes a second realistically so my downloads are like 10.10 to 11 megabytes a second is what i'd call it cuz 
I was downloading some like two gig uh, video editor today and um, yeah it didn't take long you know that's actually really good internet uh, and I probably have the same speed if I plugged into Ethernet earlier but um, now we have better stability right so for that sustained transfer for how long was that like five minutes uh, if it was my older one because I'm saying this with experience because I have plugged in stuff to Ethernet before pre-pandemic is what I call it and uh, that was like the security system in someone else's house which I was helping set up and boy it was cutting left and right why because even though it was fast it wasn't stable enough so one moment you'd have 10 and then you'd go down to 9, 8 and then go back up and down up and down up and down and your uh, streaming thing is probably like okay we should balance it out and then it'll send a lower quality one so that it's able to go through easier right so uh that's basically the reasoning behind it why like you could have good internet and like good speeds occasionally and still have like bad quality streaming and stuff so uh that's what we've solved or now because now i can like do a sustained like 4k stream to my computer or even yeah to my computer i wouldn't do that on my phone but like to my computer i could do that and nothing would happen like it will do flawlessly uh, maybe b buffering in the beginning because it you know it has to accumulate the frames and stuff but once it has like the minute long buffer period there's no stopping it really like it's gonna go woo, like this is gonna plow through that 4k video and best part my laptop screen is 1080 my big like if you've seen any of my setup videos that uh, entire monitor is 768p and it's like 32 inches and it's like not, it's like a foot away from my eyes i can really like pixel peep so if i'm directly looking at like text and stuff on that i can tell that like i can make out the different pixels on it it's not that fun but hey you live and you learn i guess um got probably i'm saving up to upgrade that hopefully with like the money i get from my birthday and like a bunch of pocket money i saved and like stuff money i've earned hopefully i'll be able to buy like some other monitor hopefully for 144 hertz one because you know 144 hertz is the best really i mean come on like my laptop is already 144 and uh like it's right in front of my monitor now because i've started gaming more often because i don't have to like i mean yeah i have to study but like my board exams have indefinitely postponed until like the end of this month i mean the beginning of the next month is when i'll get to know so yeah there's that wow i never really made that realization before i have to start studying even more now because you know in case they're like oh yeah 15 days and we're going Oh, wow, I might be screwed. Let's see. Let's hope not. Um, yeah, anyways. So, yeah, okay. Getting back to the point is, now that we have better internet, right, there's so much more stuff that we can do on it. Mostly because of necessity, right? Like, we need to have better internet for shopping, for food, and stuff like that. And, you know, work, school, and um, it like necessity sure that's like required to have better internet but hey what's the w bad thing like okay you pay 100 rupees more per month and now you're getting like way better than net like you can genuinely feel it because i remember i used to try um like watching youtube videos 1080p on my wi-fi and i almost always used to switch to 4g because at least that was like a less buffers back then nowadays like neither of them buffer so that's good that's mostly because you know 4g also went down it's like i remember even switching to mobile data i was like nah this ain't it like the speeds also used to be low now that it's higher it's good so um i believe i, I rambled all my points away thanks for watching God, I did it again. Thanks for listening. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, 
I mean, I guess you're still listening because it's a static image. Uh, yeah, um, that's all. Thank you. Uh, follow my Instagram and Twitter and follow the Consistency Project. So if you're listening to this, um, link is in the bio. So check it out. And uh, it's 4.08 and I'm going to sign off now. Bye-bye.